Good morning, Watermark Church. Uh, this coming Sunday, we start our brand new series called Almost Home. It's from the book of 1 Peter and 2 Peter. One of the greatest surprises about humanity is how much we can survive if we have one thing, hope. For instance, think of some of the worst conditions possible. One of those would be the people who were imprisoned in Germany through World War II. We see this in the survival of victims of the Holocaust. These people suffered brutal conditions. Gulag is, is one of those places, probably the most inhumane maximum security prison, but many of them also went through something worse, and many of them lost hope. Viktor Frankl was one of these prisoners, and he survived the war and later became a psychologist. Listen to what he wrote. The prisoner who had lost his faith in the future, his future was doomed. With his loss of belief in the future, he also lost his spiritual health and hold. He let himself decline and became subject to mental and physical decay. Usually this happened quite suddenly in the form of a crisis, the symptoms of which were familiar to the experienced camp inmates. Usually it began with a prisoner refusing one morning to get dressed and wash or go go out of the, the parade grounds. No, no treaties, no blows, no threats had any effect. He just lay there hardly moving. If this crisis was brought about by the illness, he refused to be taken to the sick bay or to any to do anything to help himself. He simply gave up. There he remained lying in his own extracta and, and nothing bothered him anymore. We simply can't live without hope. In fact, sometimes when someone dies, we say that they've given up hope. You can't live long or very well without hope. Andy Crouch said human beings can live for 40 days without food, four days without water, and four minutes without air. But we cannot live for four seconds without hope. So for this morning, this coming Sunday, I want to talk to you about hope from 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 1 through 12. And in this time that we're living in today, we need hope that we are almost home. May God bless you. I will see you all tomorrow.